what's up guys dw rugs back again with another video as mentioned last time this week's video is going to be how to put the backing on your rug or how i personally do it um, i'm going to be showing you how to do it in my backyard so first things first i need to take this off the frame and then we'll head out back all right everyone so we got all the materials right here we brought the rug out got it laid out flat um, and I know so first thing a lot of people normally um, cut the rug out of the fabric off of the frame and for this technique you just take all of the fabric off of the frame entirely um, and then over here we have the materials that we need I use this Gorilla Glue spray uh, I find that it works really well plain plain passing over and then I have the scissors and then the felt backing that I use. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so once you got your fabric the way, uh, the size that you want it to be, uh, just lay it out flat. And then I usually do it one half at a time. Take some of this Gorilla Glue. I like to hit the edges really well to make sure it sticks properly. And then just fill in the middle, maybe a little bit on the fabric as well. Lay that out flat. Press it down nice and hard. And I like to go from the inside out to make sure, you know, you don't get any wrinkles or anything like that. And then you do the same on the other side. I didn't realize filming in the middle of an air show. Probably not a good choice, so I apologize in advance. So once you got the back glued on, um, just flip it over. And just press it down. Make sure everything is put together properly. Nice and flat. Okay, so now starts the cutting process. So as you'll see, these are now connected together. So what you want to do is, first of all, get a good pair of scissors. These ones kind of suck. So now you see the fabric underneath. You want to cut both of those at the same time, line it up to your edge, and then just cut off a little bit of the excess yarn so that you're able to get a nice straight edge, at least in this case, um, since this is a square rug. Um, but in general, when I make rugs, I typically add an extra layer of yarn after the rug is finished just for this process so that I can cut off the extra and have a nice clean finish. So as you can see, just after that one cut, how nice the end is. And this isn't even going to be the end result because as you know, after we shave it, you shave the edge as well for an even cleaner result. But now, as you can see, it's super well connected. It's not gonna come apart like when you fold it over and glue it, that might come apart, but this has a very strong hold now. So now we'll just finish the rest of the edges so you can see the final result. Okay, now that all the edges are done, we'll take a closer look so you can really see up close just how nice that edge is now. It's gonna look even better once you shave it too. All right, Josh, that's pretty much it um, for that little tutorial. It doesn't take that, that long. I feel like it's a lot quicker than the other process where you have to cut and fold and glue and everything like that. Um, another thing, a couple things I wanna mention is one, uh, sometimes I get comments about why, you know, maybe I'm using too much Gorilla Glue spray or, or things like that. And I just really like to get a lot specifically on the edges since that's where you're going to be cutting off a lot of the excess. And you want to make sure that there's a super tight bond so that nothing folds up. Um, so that's the reason that I use a lot of the Gorilla Glue spray. And I don't just use the carpet adhesive that's on the back of it because what I found is 
the times where I've tried to just use the adhesive and then stick the felt onto the back that it doesn't hold as much. Um, so that's one thing. Oh, and then the other thing is there is an additional step you can take and that's putting a non-slip backing on as well. Um, I haven't experimented with that yet, but I am going to start doing that because a lot of customers have requested that, especially if they put it on like a hardwood floor or things like that. And you can find non-slip adhesive. I know there's a specific one on Amazon that I'm looking into getting. And so I feel like that process would just kind of be the same, except instead of the two layers, it'll be the three layers and you just go from there. So that's something to add, um, I think that'll make your rug stand out just a little bit more is if you have a non-slip backing on as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any further questions about it. Pretty straightforward. And um, if you try it out, uh, let me know. And also for one of these next videos, what I want to do is I want to have you know, people that follow me or subscribe to me send in rugs that they have made. I've had a couple people DM me over these past few weeks showing me the rugs that they've made. And so I think it'd be really cool to make a video um, kind of showcasing your guys' work and some of the smaller creators um, and just, you know, providing more to the rug making community. Um, so yeah, if you ever have any rugs that you make and you want to DM them to me, send them over and I may ask to put it in a future video where I talk about people's rugs and their techniques or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in as always and uh, take care.